Hi, this is Tony with a three-minute tire changer here. Rabaconda three-minute tire changer is mostly known for making a three-minute mousse changes, but it can actually be used with an inner tube and also to perform a three-minute tire change. So I'm going to walk you through here how to make it in three minutes. So first thing, make sure you bake, break the bead. We have a nice long, nice long lever here just to break the bead on both sides of the tire. Well, once you've done it, take the first tire iron, support here so it just has some pressure on it, stays in there nicely. Grab another one, and then a third one. Then come to the opposite side, simply just push the bead down here so you can easily dismount the tire. It's good to keep, keep some pressure in the tube, about 5 psi, so you have less chance, less risk of breaking the, breaking the tube. So once you have about a quarter of the tire dismounted, just flip it around. In case you have a Japanese bike and the valve is from the opposite side of the rim lock, make sure you push in the valve. With KTM wheel, it's not important because it's actually next to the rim lock here. So what you do then is you just start pushing where you dismounted the first section. First, push off the lower bead. Once it's fully dismounted, start pushing off the other bead. And just to get it over the rim lock, raise it here a little bit, and boom, here you go. The first part when mounting is a bit different if you have a Japanese bike. With KTM and Huskies, they have the valve hole in the rim next to the rim lock. So you can start with putting the tire under the rim lock and then just push, get the valve through the hole there, make sure the tire is under the rim lock, and then push on the tire as much as you can, grab a tire iron and support it with your knee here so it won't slide back. Now with a Japanese bike, this would be the moment when you get the valve through the rim. So you just need to get the tire up a little bit, push the valve in. I already have it mounted here. Make sure it's aligned so it's not, not facing sideways. And especially for mounting, it's good to have some pressure in the tire. So there is no risk of getting the, getting the uh, tube between rim and tire iron. So I started next to the rim lock. I will mount the rim lock last. Since I have five PSI in the tire, I use a tire iron there as a bead buddy. So this will guide the tire bead down to the drop center of the rim, making it easy to mount the last section of the tire. Don't stick the tire irons too far in. You might get the tube pinched. And now the last part, you can just push it in. Like that. Here you go. Make sure to pump your tires, fasten the rim lock, have fun.